humans have an inbuilt need to classify the world around them. We do it with music, we do it with food, we do it with art, and that's what the science of taxonomy really does. Taxonomy is the science of naming, describing and then classifying the living world around us. Taxonomy isn't just about naming all the species that we found, it's also about ordering them, it's about grouping them together. And we group them together uh, based on shared characteristics. So if a group of animals uh, show shared characters, uh, we may think that they evolved from a, a common ancestor and that's why we group them closely together. The work of a taxonomist is never really done. As we discover new species or we discover more about older uh, known species, uh, often these names change to reflect this new information. Nautilus are one of the groups that I look after here at the Natural History Museum and they're a really interesting group. When you first look at the shells of these species, they look very, very similar. But if you look a bit more closely, you can see some of the differences. So the umbilicus, the central part of this, varies in shape and size. And as we notice these changes, as we understand them more, then we can change the taxonomic names around them, because this gives us a better clue to their evolutionary history. Taxonomy is never really finished. Uh, we just get a, a step closer to the truth. When I first started working at the museum and uh, working on the collections, I had no idea that you know, the taxonomic work that goes on here had so many amazing applications. Things like disease prevention, um, conservation, ecology, food security, pest management, and even things like discovering new drugs from deep sea animals or Amazonian plants. There really is no end to the importance of taxonomy.